Hey guys, my long awaited at home butt and thigh workout video is finally here. Personally, I've always had wide hips and a big old chunky booty since I was a little girl, but regardless if you have a bigger or smaller back size, a little bit of exercise will help to lift and shape whatever size booty you have and make it look 10 times better. So I've got 7 easy at home workouts today to help you reach your beautiful booty goals. Um, as with any workout, you always want to start and finish with some stretching. Do whatever stretches you're comfortable with, just make sure not to skip this step because it's really important. Let's start with some leg lifts. Lie down on one side, keeping your body in a straight line. I use my bottom arm to prop up my head and my top arm for support and balance. Rotate your top leg so that your toe points up and lift your leg up as high as you can. Don't bend your knee, but don't lock it either. A general rule when exercising is that it's usually never okay to lock your joints. So keep your legs straight, but your knee relaxed. And you're really gonna feel this on your inner thigh area. Exercise number two is identical to the first, except that you're gonna rotate your legs so that your heel points upward. This slight difference is gonna work out your outer thigh now. Make sure to use slow and controlled movements for all of these workouts and don't bring your leg all the way down to where it would touch your resting leg. Always try to maintain some tension. Then make sure to flip over when you're done and do the other leg as well. And for all of the workouts I'm showing you today, I do three sets of 10 each and usually two or three times a week. Moving on to kickbacks on hands and knees again, doing one leg at a time, you're gonna pull your knee towards your chest and then extend or kick back your leg straight behind you. Try to keep your back straight and your abs tight to engage your core muscles as well while you're doing this. And when you kick back, try to create a straight line from your back through your leg to your foot. This exercise is great to lift your butt which makes it appear fuller and more plump. Juicy booty, anybody? <laughs> Number four. I have no idea what to call this one, but keeping a similar form as before, you guys can stay on your hands, but I like to come down to my forearms for more support because, well... Balance isn't really my strong point, but anyway, keeping your knee bent, you're going to lift your leg outward, back to center, up, and back to center again. Maintain your knee bent at a 90 degree angle for the entire movement. You want your butt, hips, and thighs doing the work here. Again, always use slow and controlled movements. You're not in a rush. It's not a race. You want to get the maximum burn and workout for each movement that you do. And yeah, I personally like this routine because it's so easy to do anywhere. You don't really need any weights or props or things like that. Just your own body and a blank or your blah, 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 blanket or yoga mat if you want. Or you can just use like a carpeted or a clean floor. So it's really easy to do anywhere that you may be. Time to stand up and do some squats. I have to admit, I used to hate these, but I've grown to love them. So keep your legs shoulder width apart and I keep my arms in front of me for balance and just sit your butt down pretending that there's a nice comfy chair there waiting for you, which unfortunately there isn't. But try to squat down into a 90 degree angle and make sure your knees stay behind your toes. You don't want them to go leaning over in front of your toes. Now let's combine a jumping jack and a squat. Start with your feet together and arms straight up. Jump like you would into a jumping jack, but when you plant your feet open on the ground, immediately go down into a wide squat. Your arms, instead of going all the way down like with a traditional jumping jack, are only gonna go straight out parallel to the floor. And as you come up from your squat, jump back into starting position. These are hard, but they are so good um, for your legs and for some cardio. 
Finally, lunges. Start with feet together, then step one leg out in front of you. You can step straight ahead, but I'm stepping a little to the side so you can see better. But as you step out, bend your knee to a 90 degree angle, then come back to starting position and do the other side. So that's pretty much it. Again, I usually do three sets of 10, but you start slow, do two sets or do eight in each set, whatever works for you. Take your time with each movement and have a great and safe workout. If you try this routine, let me know how you like it. And just a tip, before and after pictures are a great way to motivate yourself. You might not see results from one day to the next, but from one week to the next, a picture might show you differences that will excite you and push you to work harder. So have fun, stay fit, please like, favorite, and share the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys, I'll see you next time, bye!